What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan if anyone is new here and in this video we're going to be doing a quick trade recap on a shares trade that I did on plug is the ticker symbol plug power. Uh, we had a $3,480 profit. I would say $3,500 but you know somebody would get mad at me and say oh my god scam scam he's lying. So anyways uh, $3,480. Now, jumping into it, I'm going to just break everything down for you guys on the orders here, and then we'll go ahead and talk about it on the chart, and we'll kind of end it quickly there. I'll try and make it a quick video. So what I was doing is, again, it was a shares trade. So I was trading shares instead of options this time, and I was going long the stock, meaning I bought the shares in hopes that the stock would go up. Now, if you take a look at the orders, I initially jumped into the trade around the 6.40 a.m. area. I'm on the Pacific time zone, so basically right out of the open, I got into this trade with 1,000 shares at the 2515 area. Then about 30 minutes later, 25 minutes later, right around 704, I added in an additional 1,000 shares, getting to me getting me to about a full size position of about 2,000 shares there. And I added in the additional 1,000 shares at the price of 2565. So once I got some confirmation, saw that the trade was working, saw that everything was looking good, saw that, you know, more, just more confirmation, if you will. Um, you know, I saw a few more other things line up, this, that, and the other. And, you know, once I saw that, I decided to go in, add in full size position here. And then the rest of the trade, I took off about an hour and a half after that. So in total, the trade was about barely two hours long. Um, it's not like I was sitting there in front of it the whole entire time. I had like alerts set and things like that. But either way, um, this is what we're working with. I sold all of the shares, all 2,000 shares at 27.14. And just to give you guys like a, a base idea of the pricing breakdown before we jump to the charts so I don't have to jump back here too often is... The average price can be seen as just the the difference of the two here. Since I got a thousand shares of this, a thousand shares of that, you can just add, you know, twenty five fifteen plus twenty five sixty five divided by two. That gives you the average price of twenty five forty. So the average trade, I guess you can say, the average price that I got in at was twenty five forty with two thousand shares. And jumping into it here now, like I mentioned, we got into an at, into it at six forty, and then I added in at seven oh four. So right here is the 640 area. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit for you guys here. Right here is the 640 area. So right as it dipped down to right here at the 615 area, that's where I got into the trade. And then as I had some more confirmation, once it went up, we even got above this area, got a little dip to my little guy there. Uh, right here at the 704 area is basically where I added in the additional 1,000 shares right here at the 2565 area, bringing me to about an average price of 2540. And my plan with the trade initially, so first of all, what I was playing here, I was basically playing like a little breakout of the 25 area, if you will. Uh, I was wanting it to basically get back above this, I guess we can call it resistance, you know, support resistance, this, that, and the other kind of simplicity, uh, simple terms here for you guys. You can see, you know, it was support back here. Once support got broken, it becomes resistance, 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 resistance. Also a whole half dollar mark, psychological levels, all this. Uh, that's why I was watching the 25 area. So I wanted to get into the trade at, you know, 25 risk would have been on 24. And this was from the watch list as well directly. That's why I wanted to make a trade video on this. Uh, I wasn't really planning on making one. I, I was just doing the watch list and I was looking back at the chart and I said, man, this one, it ended up even going higher than I had planned this, that, and the other, so I said, let me make a video for it for them real quick here. So uh, just getting back on topic here. So I was playing that 25 area. We can even look at it on a longer term time frame. We can see this 25 was a key area here, and then we're kind of playing with my little guy there as well. So that's where I got into the trade, right around the 25 area. Obviously, I couldn't get the exact 25. I, you know, I was kind of waiting for a little pullback, and then I realized, okay, 25, 15, reasonable pullback. I can't expect it to get exactly 25, and I'm kind of glad because it really didn't go much lower than that. Okay, like maybe it went to 25.07, but realistically, I'm not even upset about that extra, what, like seven, eight cents that I had to pay. 
uh, to make sure that I was in the trade. Now, believe it or not, I, I might have even let the trade go. For example, if the trade started shooting up on me from right here, I wouldn't have chased it. You know, we were up here already at the 2535, 2545 area, and I didn't want to get in at that area because that wasn't my plan. My plan was to get in at 25, and I'm like, dude, my risk to reward, everything is going to be all off balance if I get in up here at the, you know, 2540, 2550 area. So starting into the trade, at least at the position that I was at before I had any confirmation and a few other ideas that I saw, that's why I wanted to get into that trade, 1,000 shares and stick to my risk to reward. Then once I got, I saw the confirmation come in, then I added in and I adjusted things a little bit. Uh, but that's basically what we were working with just to give you guys like a general idea there. Um, so I was in the trade 25, risk 24, and that means my primary profit target to just be a reasonable risk to reward would have been 27, and I was actually shooting for 28. That was kind of like the secondary profit target, and I was holding the whole trade for 28 because of the fact that moving back to this area here, um, it, it didn't really have much struggle with the 27 area. So when it hit my alert that I had on the 27 area, I decided, all right, you know what? Let's go in and just hold into the trade and just raise the stops. So I put a new alert that basically said, okay, if we go below this area, I'll get out, take, it would have still been a profit is what I'm saying here. So I just raised my stop and I'm kind of letting it ride. Also because I'm trading shares on this one, I didn't really have to worry about time value or you know any of the other things that go into play when you're trading the options. So... That's kind of that giving you guys a little bit of insight here. I try to give you guys some insight because, you know, people get upset saying, like, hey, man, you know, we want to learn from your YouTube videos. Maybe we don't, you know, we don't want to take your course. And, you know, I just try to be fair to everybody. You know, it's not fair if I'm over here just, you know, spoon feeding everything to you guys when I have students that are taking my course, uh, you know. So I just try to keep it balanced. But at the same time, I do try to give you guys as much information as possible. I mean, I'm, I'm literally just a, a, a step short of spoon feeding it to you. I'm pretty much telling you guys everything here. You, I'm just saying, hey, look, you know, uh, you know, if I see like a really nice car down the street, I might say, oh, look, look, look. I might not say, look at that Lamborghini. I'm like, look, I'm telling you, look, look, what, look, look at over there. I'm telling you guys, you just have to look and see for yourself. Oh, yeah, I see. It's a Lamborghini. Anyways, okay, so back on topic here. So um, my alert, I had it at 27 to get out of the trade, at least half size at 27. But we kind of just pierced through that area. We're, weren't really struggling with it. So I raised my stop and I was holding it from there. And then I had my alert set right below the 28 area because that's where I was realistically going to take the majority of the trade off. I'm not going to lie and say that I was going to get out fully. I was probably going to get out of 1,500 shares, might have held the other 500 shares just till the end of the day or with an additional raised stop, uh, probably being at the 27 area. So it really wouldn't have been any different. Uh, so that's pretty much that. So giving you guys a little bit of context and insight about what was going on in my mind, why I didn't get out right away at the 27 area. Uh, so my, my alert pinged off and I missed the 28 area because it didn't exactly hit the exact 28. I set my alerts a little lower so it gives me time to pull my thing out. Uh, usually I do my alerts, my trades, I do it from my phone. Uh, so it'll ding, 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 it'll hit my phone. So I had some like right around the 27, 75 area and it hit it and I was kind of watching it. And it just kind of dropped down a little bit too dramatically for me right there. And I realized, ah, oh, man, I missed that 28. So what I said that I would do is I decided I was going to uh, raise my stop to the 27.25 area. That's basically where I told myself, all right, go ahead, put your new alert there, 27.25 uh, area. And, you know, as we basically went below that area, which was at the 8.29, 8.29 is right here. Uh, you know, it kind of pinged it on this candle right there. And I said, all right, man, let's go ahead and pull out the phone, get the order going. And I placed the order, sold all of it. Because I said, at that point, I'm still above the 27, still above my primary profit target. I'm good in the trade. I got in it initially at the 25.15. Uh, I got the fill by the time I got out of it. Uh, it was 27.15. So a little bit shorter than 27.25. Uh, but I'm just talking a bunch of numbers here now, guys. 27.25, 27.15. I sound like an auctioneer. Can I get 100 here, 100 here, 150 there, 150 there? How about 200, 250, 250, 300? You know, I should be an auctioneer, guys. I think I just found my calling. Anyways, so, uh, oh my goodness, guys, I'm, I get so off topic. Let me just wrap it up here for you guys. So, we got into the trade right above the 25 area. I was trying to play that little breakout above the 25 area. We got it. I got in. I added into the trade right here. Uh, gave me a little bit of an average size of the 2540. Um, I wrote it all the way up. I didn't get to get out at the 28. Um, I was hoping it would just ping through the 28 and then I'll just like place an order and get out with ease into the strength of it breaking the 28. Uh, but whatever, that's not what happened. I ended up getting out right here. Um, like I said, the 829 area. So about a two hour trade, 2715. So realistically, I mean, from the first entry to the second, to the exit, I'm sorry, from the initial entry to the exit, it was a $2 per share profit. So if I got into the initial 2000 shares, 
um, right away, it would have been a four thousand dollar profit. But you know, I wanted to start in a little bit light size, get some confirmation before I really went into it. Uh, so that's why I added into it a little. But the total profit was three thousand four hundred eighty. If you want to look at it as a whole, you can say, okay, so that we got into it two thousand shares at the average price of twenty five forty. Then we got out of all two thousand shares at the price of twenty seven fourteen. What's the difference between twenty seven fourteen and twenty five forty? That would be one seventy four. So we had a profit of a dollar seventy four per share times two thousand because we had two thousand shares. That's another way of calculating the three thousand four hundred and eighty dollar profit there. Uh, and that's pretty much that, guys. Now, of course, kind of give a little bit of context, a little woulda, coulda, shoulda. If I didn't exit at the twenty seven fifteen area and I got out all the way up here, let's say the twenty nine fifty, I got the top tick. It would have been like an additional five thousand dollars. It would have been a nine thousand, you know, eight thousand five hundred dollar profit there that we would have been looking at. But obviously, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Am I mad? No. I, I mean, I say this in plenty of my videos. You can go back to videos from like two, three years ago. I'm still saying, am I mad that I didn't get the top? No. Am I mad that I didn't get the bottom? No. You can't be chasing that kind of stuff. I had my plan. I stuck to my plan. Everything was good. I took my profit. Uh, so I just like to reiterate that for any new traders out there that might think, oh man, I should have held it. I should have held this, held that. You know, if you're gonna do that. Do it with like a raised stop. Get out of the majority of the trade, but don't even do that, especially if you're just starting off. Just start off, stick to your plan, and that's pretty much that. So that was the trade, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll stop rambling at this point. If you were interested in joining the watch list that I mentioned, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link in the description below. And if you want to learn how to do this stuff on your own too, you don't want to sign up for my watch list, I also have a masterclass course that'll teach you how to do that. I try not to push it too much, but there are some people that are like, yeah, dude, I want to learn this stuff. Just get me straight to the point. I want to learn how to do everything. You know, that'll teach you everything from A through Z. Very beginner friendly. You don't need any prior knowledge at all. Uh, it'll even teach you how I make my own watch list so you'll know how to do all that yourself too. So anyways, I'll wrap it up here, guys. Links in the description below. If you could please be so kind. If you're still hanging out here, hey, because usually people exit by this point. Hit the thumbs up for me. Drop a comment down below. And please be so kind. Subscribe. All of that stuff really does help and motivates us to make more videos and all that. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all had a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful life. And I will talk to you guys soon.